Hi guys. So I promised that I would do a video. This is probably going to be a part, a two part video. I'm Sharon, CK Showroom. So this will probably be a two part video, but let me show you what I have. Um, I'm using my phone. I don't have one of those things like they have, you know, the pros have that hang over top, but I'll get there. Just bear with me. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to do, I'm going to do a koi fish pond and we're going to do part one of the fish pond. So which will, will go in my fish pond trinket bowl will be river pebbles that was purchased from Home Depot. I might do seashells, but I've never seen seashells where koi fish were. And I know I like to do things outside of pocket, but I don't want to be crazy with it. Um, I have my river stone oops, that I did not know was open. Okay, I didn't know that. So there's a hole right there. And so these will go on the base. These will go on the base of the different elements that I have here. And then I have some, what do you call this, moss that we're going to put at the bottom. I am going to add this. I don't care if koi fish don't have it, but I'm adding this, okay? Okay. Um, so these are, I don't know if you can see this. So this is a bowl. This is a nautica bowl, and I purchased it today. I went in Marshalls, and I always go to the clearance section, and this is one of those bowls that can't break. So, and by the time I add the resin, it'll be kind of heavy, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to add the resin here and add one or two koi fish. I might have to delay, depending on how, well, depending, I haven't made the decision of two fish in this or three, but right now in this, in this um, bowl will go this fish. So if you paid it, if you not paid attention, but if you saw the video or the image I put up before, this is how the fish come and you just stack them onto each other. There are videos out there where they actually put the sticker in and do a layer. We're going to do it both ways. We're going to do it one where I pile it just completely onto the fish. And then we're going to do it where we do it in layers. So fingers crossed. Okay. Um, this is, this is the next fish that I'm going to use. And that will be going to this. This will be a spoon rest once I'm done. That's what I'm calling it. You can put your spoons in it after you while you're cooking. This is the third fish that we're going to use. And that will go inside of here. Which I purchased it. I'm like, oh my God, this will be so cute for the koi fish, right? Okay, that's one. And then this white little puppy fish right here will go in here. So hopefully he's not too big that he won't take up. He might be too big. So I don't we'll we'll we we'll, won't we won't do this one. I don't think I don't think I think he's too big for this and it looks like he's smothered. So we won't we'll see about this. So we'll put him to the side. So let's get started because I have the resin sitting here and I don't want it to start curing before I'm actually ready. And I have my heat gun here to pop my bubbles. I don't use a torch because I'm crazy with it. And when I use the torch, I always end up burning my molds. And although these aren't molds, I just don't use the torch. So what we're gonna do is pour, first we need to wipe it out with alcohol and always wear your gloves. So we're gonna wipe it out with alcohol. And I use these little pads. I do have a larger bottle of spray alcohol, but it's over there and I don't feel like getting up. So we're gonna use this. So you just wipe it out. You know, whenever you do something, you should clean it out, clean it out. So it looks like I might have to get some, uh, a paper towel or something. So let me get a paper towel, y'all. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oops, almost fell. So we we'll wipe this out. And I'm just gonna stand and do this. Um, I'll make sure that you all can see what I'm doing and that I'm not blocking it because I can't see the camera because I'm dark. Okay. So, 
first thing we're going to do, and I know I'm going to have some leftover, and this will start to warm up, so I need to hurry up. I'm just going to pour some in the bottom of the bowl. Because it's in two steps, you want to cure the, do the stones. You want to make sure you have enough in the bowl to do the stones. And if you get any on the sides, try to wipe it up because when it cures, it will, it can make a mess. And see, it's starting to cure already. So we need to hurry up because this is, it's warming up. So we'll hurry up. And so you just pour that in there, like so, like that. <laughs> now we'll use our little heat gun to pop any bubbles. This looks like it's ripping. I see ribbons in this, it's not clean though. Let me see if I can stir this up. Make sure that when you do this, you stir it up because this is curing already. I love easy pour, but if you let it sit too long, and because I always give it a resin bath before I start, I risk the chances of it curing. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna, Oh God, I can't open this. Oh God, it's tape. Lord Jesus, it's tape, y'all. I gotta move fish fast. So we just do that like that, like so. We're gonna put this on the apron because I, I need to move really quickly, y'all. So I'm gonna open this. What we're gonna do is just drop a few, sto a few stones in here. And you can always use, I'm just gonna put three there and then this one i'm gonna put some right there and some right there. i can feel the heat coming off of the resin and so now we're gonna we're gonna take this little puppy up oh, see it's already curing put two on top of that and we'll take that puppy can you see so for this puppy, we're gonna add, because it is <laughs> it's curing already. We'll just add. And then we'll pour, we'll pour some resin on top of it. So, we'll, so the way I'm gonna do the big one, I really wanna, you know those stones that you see in the um the stones that you see, that you see in the, in fountains and the stones are stacked on top of each other. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. So I'm gonna dip it in and then pull it over. And when it cures, It'll dry like that. And don't worry about it if you drop it, if you drop it in here and you can't see how it's curing and you can't, uh oh. That's because I let it cure too, too much. I heated the resin, the water, because the water should only be, when you're giving yourself, not yourself, but when you're doing a resin bath, the water should only be at the temperature, hopefully I can fix this, at the temperature when you're giving a baby a bath. And when I did it tonight, because I forgot that it was actually heating up, it actually overheated. So this one, and I'm sorry, I can't get any closer. I really apologize for it. And we'll just add more resin to level this out. Because one thing about resin I love is that it levels out.
and I could probably just wait a while and because this is already curing I could probably wait a while this is already like kind of sort of done this one right here and I'll do a closer I'll hold it up to the camera so you all can see it camera i.e. my iPhone well I did have them stacked up but now they fell over that's fine But I did say I would go live, well not live, but I would report how it did that. And so that's what I did. I did want to add some moss to it, but me being a crazy lady today, I'm going to stick that on me. I'm going to stick this on me. Me being a crazy lady today, I didn't do my normal my normal um well, that's not too bad so this is the 10 as you can see oops as you can see i thought it was pretty but at least it's clear so you want it to be can you see at least it's clear and then we'll add more resin on top of that so tomorrow can you see there's a camera. Okay, so there. So tomorrow we'll come back and this will be hard because the level, the resin will level out, and right now it's really hot. And I have a table behind me, and this is the, you see, this is the larger bowl. So we just did the concentration right there with the stones, and then we'll add some flowers later. So I'll put this over here. With the cure. And this is this little puppy. Little stones. That cure. And then we have the spoon. But so don't worry if it like right here. I don't know if you can see, but right here we had the little dip dips. Don't worry about that because you can easily clear that up before um you actually once it hardens you can just use um an exacto knife or probably exacto knife would break probably something like this so this is the one i use for anything dealing with resin and you just plick it off plick pluck it's all the same so can you see let me see if i can get the other ones close like that so you all can see so i call this phase one of the koi pond you see, so this is phase one, stones. And this is phase one for this. It's gonna be pretty. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and throw them away. And look at this, look. Look what happened. This is what happens, look at that. With all that wasted. You see that? Look at that, wasted. Don't do that, people. Do not do, do not do what Miss Nixon just did, okay? Do not do that. So now, to get this off my hands, I'm gonna use this little thing right here. Let me see if I can get this off my hands. I always have baby wipes. I don't have any babies, but I have wipes. And people are like, oh my God, do you have a baby? Like, no, girl. Those baby wipes are for my hands in my studio. So that was part one, and it's up. Oh, I'm resin free. So that's it for this video. And we'll be back tomorrow. Because probably by like midnight, that'll be hard. But at midnight, I'll be in my apartment. Okay, y'all. Okay. So that's it. But this, uh oh, sticking to my nails, y'all. Sticking to my nails. Let's try some alcohol. Let's try a little alcohol pad. This is on my nails. And if anybody knows me, I love my nails, okay? And most of the time, I don't. You gotta get it off your nails, ladies. 
I always wear gloves, but I touch that without the gloves being on, and I touch that without the gloves being on. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna move this without touching it. Oh my God, resin on my hands. Oof, it's resin everywhere, people. I know you all probably saying, why is she just not, why didn't she just end the video? Because I want you to have the whole experience. Just have a seat. We almost done. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. CK Showroom at its finest. And we're going to use this to pick this up. And put it over here. So, let me give you all a close up. Of the dishes, the dishes like we eat dinner, the um, the the koi bowl bowls. Let me see some. So this is. I hope you can see that. And then there's me. <laughs> Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I couldn't read this. I'm so silly. But I'm going in an apartment now to, um, I'm leaving the studio now. And yeah, that's my seal and it's not complete. But hey, hey, I get to end in this space. So I'm Sharon Nixon from CK Showroom. I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. You see, I almost messed up my thing.